The sun is still peeking through every now and then, but the first snow is right around the bend. The e-magazine on the Dunlop Winter Festival contains valuable tips to avoid any rude awakenings. Of course, brakes, lights, etc. have to function properly to get through the winter safe and sound. As part of Dunlop's Winter Festival 2010, you can test Dunlop Winter Tires, the SP Winter Sports 3D, and the SP Winter Response and win tickets to a driver training event called Snow and Action to be held at the Lungau Ring in Austria. Further information at www.winterfestival.de. The typical sound made by combustion engines is a part of everyday traffic. With the electric car, that's passé. Up to 25 kilometers an hour, the e-cars drive nearly without making a sound. The danger for others like pedestrians is clear. Around the world, associations for the blind are asking that the modern quiet cars be given their own sound. In the USA and Japan, legal stipulations are already being prepared. Sound engineers at Audi started tackling this task a long time ago. Currently, they are carrying out intensive research on sound design for the Audi e-tron. For the third consecutive year, Opel has made the finals in the Car of the Year contest. This year it's the new Mariva which already overcame all the pre-selection hurdles to be nominated for the renowned European Automobile Prize. Which model will be voted the 2011 Car of the Year will be announced on November 29th. Only brand new cars can enter the competition. No revamped or facelifted models simply with new drive systems, that's not enough. Besides the Mariva, the list of finalists includes the Alfa Romeo Giulietta, the Citroen C3 DS3, the Dacia Duster, the Ford C-Max Grand C-Max, the Nissan Leaf, and the Volvo S60 V60.